Ryan's someone who grew up in first, second grade wanting to play at St. Ignatius. He's someone who then came to St. Ignatius and did extremely well, whether it was in the discus ring, whether it was on the football field, whether it was student government. And then obviously after college, after playing at Ohio State, he came back and he wanted to help others have that similar experience and teach as well as coach track and field, coach football. And so he's someone who for the last 20, 25 years has dreamed of and then lived through and then has helped other people make the best out of the four years that they have at Ignatius. He was like having a training film. Uh, for anybody, uh, any of the new people, the freshmen and sophomores as he rolled her, all, all I told him to watch him and he was just as if he was a training film. I mean, he could do anything, ask anything, show mistakes, show what to do, what not to do. Uh, he was excellent to have around. He was someone who inspired confidence in me and anyone, anyone who played with him. When he's on the field next to you, he gives you a feeling of, of, of confidence that makes you a better player. And I think that's you know, why people elevated him to be a captain, to be a leader. He made the team better. State semi-final uh, game, we were playing Warren Harding, who was clearly picked to beat us. They had guys that went on to help uh, the pros and everything. And he did an amazing uh, job. And it, it, it's a great clip where he, he just wills his way into the end zone, breaks about three, four tackles, and just carries people in the end zone. We take the lead with two minutes to go in the game, and here we go, right? It was, we were behind, and we had to come back, and we got the lead. Everybody in the stadium is watching this guy right now. Every single person in that stadium, our, all the young kids on our team, all their players, everybody in the crowd is watching this guy. Growing up wanting to go to St. Ignatius, I would watch tons of football videos and he would always be in most of them, like plowing over people or tackling a guy five yards behind the line. And I always looked up to him in that way and he was just an unbelievable athlete. This year our football season was his first year as our defensive coordinator and we made it to the state championship and I think that was a true testament to his hard work that he puts in. Ryan is a very humble person so even though he's a great athlete you would never know it just meeting him. He just put in hard work and never complained about practice or being in the weight room. He was all, always willing to do whatever it took for the team. I used to tell him when we were at Ohio State, you know, because you're thinking about what am I going to do after college, what's, what's that next step for me. Uh, and I always knew and I told him, and you need to get back to Ignatius and, and you need to coach football and track and be a teacher there. I'm just happy to know that uh, Ignatius still has people like him there. When I was told that I was going to be inducted, I couldn't stop thinking about my coaches and my teammates. And they're really the reason why I'm, why I'm being honored. When you think about your teammates relying on you, you're going to work harder. You're, you're going to want to win for more than yourself. And I think that's what's so important.